office of one of my WordPress sites, um, and I'm going to install the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin, and I'm just going to do it with the search thing. I'm going to Tiny MCE Advanced and search, and it should be the first one that pops up. Here it is, right here. And then all you have to do is install now. Are you sure we want to install? Yes. Installing, installing. Okay, and now we're going to activate the plugin. And this is going to allow us to uh, create the, the store that we want to create. Okay, let's see. I just went over under settings and clicked the tiny MCE advanced so I can show you how to um, add the, uh, the table. Now, this is what what this plugin does is it adds functionality to your text editor when you are getting ready to create a post. And what we're going to want to use is the table. And if you could see it over here, it says table right here, but it's this one. Just pick it up and drag it right here. Now, if you wanted the table to be up here, you could do that. You can move it wherever you want. I found it works just fine right there. So that's okay. And then down here, we're going to. Stop removing the P tags when saving and show them in the HTML editor. Okay, we're going to click that. Okay, and then we're going to save changes. And now we're all set up to go. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually use the table function to create an online store in your WordPress blog.